everyone, I am Facet, and today I'm going to be going over the update that just launched for the PS4 and Xbox version of the game. Uh, the main things to note is you guys have finally gotten the hero classes. The Warlord, Knight, Priest, Archer, Warden, Sorcerer, uh, Necromancer, and the Mechanists are all added. These are all the exact ones that the PC and mobile version have as well. So you are able to obtain all the classes that uh, currently exist in the game. And I'll be doing a video going into them more in depth later. But the basic rundown is you get them from all of these kingdoms. If you go into the game and you head over to uh, Hero and then into uh, Class, you'll be able to find all of the classes here. And you'll see whatever ones you have unlocked. And if you see any of them that aren't locked or that are locked, all you need to do to find out where to lock them is just click on it. And it, then it will tell you right here. You can see it's telling you you unlock it from Swords Edge. The basic premise with uh, obtaining these classes is you um, complete a um, you complete a kingdom's quest line. And then at the end of it, it will have an extra bonus quest. And then you complete that. And after that, you obtain the class. You get one free switch every single day and you get another free switch whenever you um, unlock a new class. So you basically never have to wait. There is a 50 gem charge if you switch classes twice in one day. But as long as you unlock uh, another new class, you automatically get a free switch. So you basically never have to pay the 50 gem cost to switch classes with how it is currently set up. And with classes, let's go into one real quick. Of course, I'll be doing a uh, video later going on a full rundown of classes. But a basic idea is here's the level up screen. You level up your troop. Uh, the, what this will do is give you more skills. Every single um, class has a different skill total that it will get. But all of them end up getting five magic. Uh, all this magic bonus for every single class is specific to a single color only. As you can see with uh, the Warlord class, you get uh, a red bonus when using any red weapons. If you use a weapon that isn't red on the Warlord class, you will not get the five magic bonus, which is kind of where uh, switching classes comes into play if you need a different color. Uh, after you get 250 wins with a specific class, you unlock a mythic weapon for that class. Warlock, um, the uh, Warlord's class is the Warlord's Battle Cry. It deals damage to an enemy. And that's based on your magic it increases by and then it's also boosted by the enemy's attack at a one-to-one -one ratio so it does whatever their damage or whatever their attack is damage to them and then does bonus damage based on your magic so that is that weapon and it costs uh 14 mana uh most of the mythic weapons aren't particularly good i'll be going more on them later in the later video but there are uh, some of them are pretty good like uh, the mechanist class like let me go into that. i have that unlocked too oops wrong class uh, Mechanist, if we go over to what it gets at 250 wins, uh, for only 11 mana, it burns, freezes, silences, and deals damage to a random enemy. All of those are different enemies. So uh, it does quite a bit more for the mana than uh, something like the Warlord's Battle Cry. And as you can see, as you level it up, you get more and more stats on it. Like if I just uh, put a more level into it, you get the 1 HP. And it just keeps going up as you level it more and more. And then we get the one attack. And then we go over to skills. Uh, this is everything that your hero will then have on top of its already bonus. Like you can see right here. Now we have 7 attack, 10 armor, 5 magic, and uh, 16 health on our hero. So it just boosted our hero whenever we use him in a team. We go over to skills. Then it shows all of it. We're actually at plus 1 to all. And um, let me go into the other ones. Every single class gets a gem mastery. Every single time you level it, you can see we're level 3. You get an extra to whatever bonus it is. And uh, for the mechanist class, it is red. So that will increase your surge chance. Uh, just, to, just to note, this uh, gem mastery works even if the hero is not in your team. Uh, this is at 10... Uh, at level 10, your class gets to be affiliated with the kingdom that that quest line uh, came from or wherever you got the um class so as you can see when you get the mechanist class from madonna so once you level the mechanist class to level 10 whenever you use a hero with the mechanist class it counts as an adana troop so if you had th uh three other adana troops with it you get the full four adana troops when using your hero in that team and of course there's that magic bonus that you get um like every couple of levels like i think if i do another level right now or maybe another two we'll get that extra magic bonus like let me just click that do we get it yet? No. So at level 5, I think you get your first magic bonus on 
your um on the class. So if I go there, okay, maybe not. Come on, give us the magic. I guess it's six. Every class might be slightly different too, which is why, because I'm pretty sure it was at, um... Hey, why aren't you giving us more magic? <laughs> Mechanist class. Skills, okay. So maybe it was five or six and it just didn't update. That might have actually been what happened there. So yeah, you get more magic too as it levels up. For some reason, it doesn't show you when you gain magic on the level up screen. I don't know if that might be different on the PS4 and console, but I know on, um... Uh, PC and mobile that is still a problem here. Anyways, let's go back into looking at things that have just happened with this update uh, Oops, <laughs> here's my recording thing. Uh, let's see And it just goes over all of the I'll be linking this in the description as well If you want to read through all of it, this just explains everything with the classes it keeps mentioning Oh also perks. That's something I completely just neglected to go over as I was in there and that is the wrong screen hero uh, Classes Okay, so if you go into a class, you can see you get perks as you get 10 victories, 25 victories, and 50 victories. Uh, every single class has a set, two stat as the first two, and then they can become a specific uh, troop type, like construct, uh, giant, things like that. And if I go over to um, our other class that we have here, the warlord class, I already have all the wins on it. So we can switch between these classes. Uh, for the most part, You'd want to be going with something like attack, magic, or HP. Uh, uh, only one perk can ever be active at one time. As you can see, it's switching here. You can either have the four attack, the eight extra HP on your hero, or have giant strength. So if you use multiple giants in your team, you'll be able to use, uh, you'll be able to get that team bonus. Also, something with like the, uh, let's go back to the mechanist class you can see you can become a construct once you get 50 wins with the mechanist class and while there aren't that many good construct teams one thing that you can do is um there is spark grinder spark grinder you get from completing the quest line you'll have them after uh, before you even get the mechanist class because you need to have uh, adana finish before you can get the mechanist class and you get in the bonus quest line but um what you can do with uh co um, construct with uh spark grinder is you can make your hero a construct and then that double bonus that the uh spark grinder gives he'll be able to give it to your um to your hero if you give it the constructing and that works with any uh kind of bonuses that work based on a specific troop type the only bad thing is it also works for negative effects like if something does two times skull damage to constructs you're also going to be taking two times damage if you set this uh if you set your hero as a construct so that's something to think about it's you either have to use it strategically for yourself or uh, if you don't need it for your team just don't pick it and go for one of the stats instead so let's actually go back to the list now um your world map got a bit updated as well uh nothing too big there you'll be able to see your glory uh one of the other big things uh for people that do want to spend money on the game is you guys just got the death knight armor and this is actually the best valued pack in the entire game uh, let me go over to it it's under uh, shop you go to rewards I mean not rewards to specials and there is the death knight pack it does cost $50 or your equivalent and uh, it is a bit pricey but if you're really dedicated to this game it is really worth the value the main thing you get is the death knight armor it has a 100% bonus to all stats uh, I mean to all stats to all resources to uh, gold to souls and to exp it's also the only uh, the only armor in the game or I, at least on pc mobile i don't know if uh, you guys have any other armors uh that gives 100 percent to exp as well so uh it is a really good armor it, it can only be purchased with this 50 dollar or your equivalent purchase though this is not this armor is not available by gems or any other method currently and it also gives on top of this 200 gems 40 gold keys 30 glory keys 20 gem keys and 10 event keys your list here might be different because I know on um, Consoles you guys can actually get VIP keys even if you don't have uh, VIP 5 so your uh, keys might be slightly different here But the main thing that this uh, set gives is the death knight pack of course Which is the best armor in the game if you want to play free to play to stick with the dragon armor and the celestial armor Or whatever armor other armors you might guys might have on console uh, but if you do feel like spending a little bit on the game, Death Knight Armor is definitely worth it if you're going, like, long-term in this game and you really enjoy it and want to support the developers. Anyways, back to other changes that occurred.
Um, you guys got a lot of um, troop rebalances. Unfortunately, they don't actually mention it in this uh, screen. And uh, two new things here. For one, you'll be able to refund these. I believe this is the first time you guys ever get to refund anything. And what refund basically does, I can't show it because none of them are currently refundable for PC and mobile. But uh, what it does is it gives you back all of the souls and trait stones that you use to upgrade a troop. It gives 100% of it back. So you don't need to worry about like losing something from a refund. You get absolutely all of it back. And if you happen to get like some kind of glitch where it might give you slightly less, just contact the devs and they will fix it for you and give you back the uh, whatever resources. Refunds will always give 100%. So um, me most of these, even though they don't say it, uh, one of the main reasons why all of these are up for refunds is you guys got a couple new traits and a couple of trait reworks. One of the most notable ones is uh, your true damage no longer does uh, that true damage trait that you guys used to have that I think was that 100% chance that a uh, troop could always do true damage. Well, that has been reduced by a lot. It's now been switched into two different traits, um, armor piercing and uh, true shot. Uh, armor piercing is only a 50% chance to do um, skull, uh, to do true damage on skull damage. And that would be on things like uh, Atlanta, Avena, uh, Gu uh, not Ghoul, uh, Gunal, um, and Wolf Knight and other uh, troops like that. One other thing is Orion now has that legendary trait, which does 75% uh, uh, chance to do true damage on Skull. So he Orion has the highest chance now to do it, but it's no longer 100% like it used to be. Uh, the rest of these are just like some minor uh, other traits that have been like switched or reworked, or I don't even know because it doesn't stay here. But uh, you can see for yourself in the game. Uh, one other, which is... Uh, update that this is pretty major for this update is treasure maps have been the treasure hunt mini game has been completely reworked it's now been reduced down to 18 turns instead of 15 but the payout is now much higher and um the well let me just show it to you real quick <laughs> go into treasure hunt and we're going to use a map it still costs one map as usual maps are still obtained by the same methods and yours should basically look exactly like this now on the console versions so you basically just play your map like usual just do whatever uh keep getting as much resources as you can i'm going to rush a bit through this map just so i don't spend forever doing a treasure map here but treasure maps still played exactly the same it's just as you can see we have much lower turns but you get higher rewards at the end of it as you will see in a moment as we finish this map so i'm just going to go through completing this I'm probably going to take deliberately some bad moves soon, just to get this done quicker. Let's see. We'll just take that. And just keep completing the map as normal. I'm just rushing through this now, taking obviously bad moves. <laughs> Normally you want to take it more from the bottom to make sure you get cascades and stuff like that. So let's just end it. And as you can see at the end of this... Oh, come on. Don't give me an extra turn. I don't want an extra turn now. <laughs> How did I still have a turn? Okay, there we go. And then it just goes through the animations as usual. You also get trade stones from it now every 15 moves. And as you can see, these rewards are quite big. Like you can see, we, own, we did pretty bad on this map because I was just trying to get through it quick. But we got some pretty hefty resources still. We got a trait stone, we got a gem, uh, 32 souls, 752 gold, and 8 glory. So that's actually pretty good. Also, it's all on one nice splash screen now. And you can like screenshot it, share it with your friends, and see how high of a score you can get. So that's all nice and organized now compared to how it was previously. And any other major updates? Let's see. You got the mail system now. You get all of your rewards and everything. And that. it's a lot more organized way to keep it. Uh, you also get like guild notifications and uh, guild recruitment and whenever you get uh, 250 wins on a class you'll get that in there and pretty much everything's done through the mail system now um daily task system overhaul you guys also got uh, a pretty big change on your tasks i have no clue about it so again the link will be in the description you can read this too and i'm not going to go over the bug fixes because as you can see there's this right there they're just basic bug fixes for the most part so I hope this video was helpful. After this video, I will be going over on a separate video classes. So if any of you are still uh, curious or interested about learning more about classes, I will be going over that uh, very soon. So if you found this helpful, make sure to leave a like 
and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.